A Saturday night explosion rocks a mid-Michigan community. No one was hurt, but a building was leveled in that blast. And TV5's James Felton spoke with residents in Mount Morris to get their reaction to this eventful weekend. It was scary coming home, and like I said, I thought it was fireworks. And they're shooting everywhere, and I'm like, what in the world is going on? What Mount Morris resident Lisa Peters Stevens saw was an explosion that took place at this building right in the heart of town Saturday night. I don't know. It was just crazy. It was insane. Like, totally insane. It was scary. While Peters Stevens was heading home, Corey Schultz was sound asleep. I woke up to uh, what I thought was a head-on collision or car accident, just a really loud explosion. Schultz tells us he feels bad for those who depend on this building. That's somebody's life. That's the way they make their income, so it sucks. And Peters Stevens tells me this building has been around for a long time. In the early 90s, um, it was Lucille Allen's, and that was a dress shop for weddings and um, prom for multiple schools. Um, and then it was something else, which I don't remember. And then I know it was a pool hall not that long ago. The Mount Morris Police Chief tells us no one was hurt. In the meantime, road closures in this area will remain in place until further notice. As for Peter Stevens, she says she knows who owns this building and wishes nothing but the best for him. Hopefully he can get it back up and stuff, but I don't know. I just I just hope for the best for him because we need we need good people in our town. Reporting in Genesee County, James Felton, WNEM TV5. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. We're told the state fire marshal will be at the site on Wednesday.